Have you ever wondered what mysteries the vast Sahara Desert might hide beneath its shifting sands? In the year 2010, a peculiar discovery was made. Imagine this, a fossilized fish, found 400 kilometers west of the Nile River in the heart of the Sahara, a place far removed from any body of water, where the sun beats down mercilessly on the arid landscape. This unexpected find stirred up a whirlwind of questions. Was there once a sea where the Sahara now stands? To delve deeper into this mystery, a decision was made to conduct a geological survey of the area. With the help of GPS equipment, scientists embarked on a journey of discovery, scanning the land for months on end. As they delved beneath the surface, they found signs of something much bigger, something that was not part of any sea. This bizarre find was just the beginning of an even greater mystery. Imagine if you will a sea where now there is only desert. A seemingly impossible notion, yet one that is supported by a wealth of geological evidence. Our world was a vastly different place during prehistoric times, an era when seas and lakes covered vast expanses that are now arid and lifeless. These bodies of water were teeming with life and their remnants have been preserved in the form of fossils, waiting for millions of years beneath the surface to tell their story. Such is the case with the Sahara. Beneath the seemingly endless dunes of sand and rock, evidence of a prehistoric sea has been uncovered. Fossilized marine creatures, shells, even remnants of coral reefs, all tell the tale of a time when this now arid landscape was a thriving marine habitat. But how did scientists come to this startling conclusion? Well, it all started with that fossilized fish I mentioned earlier. The discovery opened a Pandora's box of questions and prompted a comprehensive geological survey of the area. Using state-of-the-art GPS equipment, scientists painstakingly mapped the area, tracking subtle changes in the landscape. They then cross-referenced this data with satellite imagery, creating a comprehensive view of what lay beneath the sands. What they found was nothing short of astonishing. There, beneath the sand and rock, lay the bed of an ancient sea, complete with all the geological features you would expect. There were signs of old river channels, dried up lake beds, and even the remnants of ancient coral reefs. This discovery not only reshaped our understanding of the Sahara, but also of our planet's history. It showed us that our world is ever-changing with landscapes that evolve and transform over millions of years, shaping the course of life on Earth. So next time you look at the Sahara, remember the sea that once was, remember the vibrant marine life that swam in its waters, the rivers that fed into it, and the settlements that thrived on its shores. But the sea was not the only secret hidden beneath the sand. As if a fossilized fish and an unseen sea were not enough, the Sahara had another surprise in store. This surprise was something so massive, so colossal, that it demanded a whole new level of attention. Deep beneath the arid sands of the Sahara there lurked a hidden giant, a formation so large it could only be identified from space. The initial discovery of this hidden giant left scientists scratching their heads. The sheer size of it was staggering, and it was completely unexpected. Theories started to percolate through the scientific community. Could it be an ancient city, swallowed by the sands of time? Perhaps the remains of a prehistoric creature, larger than anything we've ever known? Or could it be a geological formation created by natural processes over millions of years? To uncover the truth, a new wave of research was launched. Scientists from around the world joined forces, pooling their resources and expertise. Geologists, archaeologists, paleontologists, and climate scientists all had a part to play in this grand mystery. They deployed state-of-the-art technology, from ground-penetrating radar to satellite imagery, in an effort to peer beneath the desert sands. Through their tireless efforts, they began to unravel the enigma. They found that the hidden giant was not a city, nor a creature, but a geological formation. It was a vast underground reservoir of water, locked away for millennia. This reservoir, it turned out, was the reason for the fossilized fish and the evidence of an ancient sea. The Sahara, it seems, was not always a desert. Once upon a time it was a lush, green paradise teeming with life. As the pieces of the puzzle started to fall into place it became clear that the Sahara Desert was not just a barren wasteland, it was a treasure trove of information waiting to be discovered. It held the secrets of our planet's past and perhaps, clues to our future. What was this giant entity lurking beneath the desert sands? The answer, it seems, was water. A vast hidden sea locked away beneath the world's largest desert. Amidst the sands of the Sahara, remnants of ancient human life were found. These were not mere footprints in the sand, 
but full-blown settlements complete with tools, pottery and evidence of agricultural practices. The discovery was a revelation, a hidden chapter of human history waiting to be read. The settlements were located hundreds of kilometers away from any known water source, raising the question, why here? Why would our ancestors choose to live in such a harsh and unforgiving environment? The answer, it turns out, lies beneath the surface. Researchers found traces of ancient riverbeds and lakes near the settlements. Imagine it, a time when the Sahara was not a desert of endless sand but a fertile land, teeming with life. The settlers were not surviving, they were thriving. The settlements were strategically located near these water sources. Our ancestors had a deep understanding of the landscape and the seasonal water flows. They built their homes where they had access to fresh water, fertile soil for their crops, and abundant wildlife for hunting. The discovery of these settlements has altered our perception of prehistoric life in the Sahara. It's a testament to the adaptability of human beings, our ability to make the most out of the resources available to us, and our innate desire to explore and inhabit new territories. But the story doesn't end there. The researchers also found evidence of sudden abandonment in these settlements. It seems that the settlers had to leave in a hurry, leaving behind their homes, their tools, and their way of life. The cause? A dramatic climate change turning the once fertile land into the arid desert that we know today. This discovery has opened up a new line of inquiry into how our ancestors adapted to climate change and how they might have tried to mitigate its effects. It's a lesson from the past that could very well guide us in tackling the climate challenges of our own time. These ancient settlers may have known more about the desert secrets than we ever suspected. Did you ever think whales might once have roamed the land? Seems surprising, doesn't it? Yet this is a theory that has gained considerable traction in the scientific community. Let's dive into this fascinating concept. Imagine, if you will, a time when whales were not the majestic marine creatures we know today, but terrestrial beings, exploring the vast landscapes of our planet. This theory is backed by compelling evidence found in their anatomical structures. Whales have small vestigial hind limbs tucked inside their bodies, a remnant from their land-dwelling ancestors. Moreover, the fossil record provides us with an intriguing narrative. Over 60 million years ago, a group of hoofed mammals known as artiodactyls began to venture into aquatic environments. Over time, these creatures evolved into semi-aquatic species like the Ambulocetus, often referred to as the walking whale. This creature, about the size of a sea lion, could walk on land and swim in water, acting as a perfect bridge between land and sea. Fast forward a few million years, these semi-aquatic creatures fully embrace their aquatic lifestyle, giving rise to the whales we know today. Now let's bring this back to our hidden giant beneath the Sahara. In the late 20th century, paleontologists unearthed the fossils of an ancient whale species, Basilosaurus, in Egypt. This gargantuan creature measuring up to 60 feet in length once swam in the Tethys Sea that covered the Sahara region. This discovery is significant as it not only confirms the existence of an ancient sea, but also sheds light on the evolutionary journey of whales. It gives us a glimpse into a time when these magnificent creatures transitioned from land to sea, and the Sahara played a crucial role in this evolutionary tale. It's astounding how uncovering the past can illuminate our understanding of the present. The Sahara, a vast expanse of arid desert today, was once a thriving marine ecosystem, home to these ancient leviathans. It seems the Sahara Desert is full of surprises. So, what do these discoveries tell us about the Sahara Desert and its history? Well, they paint a picture of a Sahara that's far more than just a vast expanse of sand. It's a treasure trove of hidden truths, waiting to be uncovered. The fossilized fish, a silent testament to a time when this arid desert was a thriving marine habitat. The unseen sea, a clue to a geological past that we're just beginning to understand. The something huge under the sands, a tantalizing hint at unknown wonders yet to be discovered. The ancient settlements, remnants of humanity's past, give us a glimpse into how our ancestors adapted to their ever-changing environment. And the land whales, a fascinating journey of evolution and adaptation, from land to sea and back again. These discoveries challenge our perception of the Sahara Desert, encouraging us to look beyond the surface. The Sahara Desert, a place of mystery and history, continues to reveal its secrets, challenging what we know and expanding our understanding of the world.